In this video, we're going to talk about setting up your workspace with panels. If you're following along in the book, we're in Chapter 5 on page 13. You can think of panels as miniature workspaces. They each accomplish a different function. There are a couple dozen different panels available to you, but in the spirit of keeping things super simple, I would strongly suggest that you start with just the nine I'm going to show you and add those you deem necessary as you gain more experience with Photoshop. Photoshop does give you a set of predefined workspaces. You can access these by going to the Window menu, Workspace, and choosing at least to start the Essentials, which should be the default. But if it's not, start there. Then I suggest that you add or subtract panels until you end up with just the following in your workspace. Why these panels? These nine panels are the ones that you'll use the most, particularly as a photographer. As it's important to keep things simple, Remember, keep it super simple. Stick with these nine to start. You can't go wrong. See, here's how you work with panels on the workspace so you end up just with the ones you want. You'll notice that certain panels are docked to each other in tab groups. This is to save valuable screen real estate. By the way, screen real estate is not as critical if you use more than one monitor, but if you're down to one monitor, it certainly can be. So here's a tab group right here with three different panels, Navigator, Histogram, and Info. To activate the panel you want to use, just click on the tab. To add or remove a panel from a tab group, just click on the tab with your left mouse button, hold it, drag it out into the wherever you want it, and if you want to drag it back in, hold down the left mouse button, drag it back into the tab group you want, You'll see a blue line go all the way around, and there you go. In addition to that, you can also change the order of the individual panels in your tab group simply by holding down the left mouse button and dragging that panel where you want it. To add a panel to your workspace, simply go to the Window menu, click on the panel that you want to add. In this case, I'll add swatches, and of course it shows up in the desktop. Now at this point, I can drag it into another tab group if I want. I can drag it to any corner that I need. In some panels you can actually resize it and if I don't need it anymore I can simply click on the X in the upper right hand corner and it's gone. There are a couple ways to hide all of your panels. If you're limited with screen real estate, say a small laptop, you can use the tab key on your keyboard to hide all of your panels. Let me show you what that looks like but let me open an image first. Now, if I hit the tab key, all my panels disappear. This is really helpful if you need to look at your image with a critical eye. And here's a little speed key I want to show you. It's the single digit key F on your keyboard. And if you cycle through that, I'm just pressing the F key, you'll get different backgrounds and different results. And then it brings you back to your original workspace. To bring all of my panels back, I just simply hit the tab key again. Another way to give yourself more screen real estate is to minimize a panel or tab group. I don't do this very often, but you're welcome to try if you'd like. You just click on this double arrow on the tab group, click it again to expand it again. Again, I find the tab key so much easier to use. To avoid distractions, it's also a good idea to maximize your Photoshop program on your computer so that it fills your screen, avoiding other programs, icons, backgrounds, and so on that might interfere with your workspace. Let me show you what that looks like in a Windows environment. When the workspace is not maximized, you can see that there's quite a bit of distraction on my Windows desktop. To avoid that, all I have to do is maximize my program. In the Windows environment, it's this button right here and voila, all the distractions are gone. The last thing I want to show you is how to save your workspace. Once you set up your workspace the way you want it, you can save it. Simply go to the Window menu, Workspace, New Workspace, give it an appropriate name, then save it. There's a couple ways to retrieve your workspace after you've saved it. One is to go to the Window menu, Workspace, and choose the name that you've given it. The second way is to go to the right hand side of the options bar and click on the name there. In fact, I have two saved. I'm going to click on JW Main so you can see that it's different. If I want to go back to Workshop Basic, I just click on Workshop Basic. Now, if I mess these up, let's say I've uh, got these all jumbled 
and out of order and I want to go back to my original setup, I just go to Workshop Basic, Reset Workshop Basic, and everything is hunky-dory. That's how you set your workspace up. Enjoy!